Our top story this hour, a horrific scene in the Bronx. 19 people were killed during a five alarm blaze at a Bronx apartment building. Officials are calling it the worst fire the city has seen in 30 years. Let's get outside now to Fox 5's Robert Moses. He's live in the Fordham Heights section of the Bronx with the latest details. Robert. Kayla, adding to the tragedy here is the age of the victims. Among the 19 dead are nine children. And when you look at this building and you see the kaleidoscope of broken windows, you realize no corner of it was spared. They just pulled the little boy out. Oh, my God. Video posted on Citizen App captured flames licking the side of the Twin Parks Northwest Apartment Complex, a 19-story building with 120 apartments in the West Bronx. Fire Commissioner Daniel Nigro says yesterday morning's fire started in a malfunctioning electric space heater in a bedroom in a duplex that spanned the second and third floors. It's the worst fire the city has seen in more than three decades. The numbers are horrific. They might not have been so horrific had the door to the apartment where the fire started been closed, but it stayed open, allowing smoke to spread. The smoke spread throughout the building, uh, thus the tremendous loss of life and other people fighting for their lives. People who live in the building say they initially ignored the smoke alarms they heard because that sound is pretty much a daily occurrence. This time, though, was different, and those inside quickly realized they had to get out. When we opened that door, the smoke just hit us, and we ran to the hallway to the exit, and I just panicked, and I got scared. I was coming down the stairs and saw a body sitting on the floor. This is crazy. Firefighters who found victims on every floor worked frantically while putting their own lives in jeopardy. Their air tanks contain a certain amount of air. They ran out of air, many of our members, and they continue working uh, to try to get as many people out as they could. The city has not seen a fire this deadly since the fire at the Happy Land nightclub, also in the Bronx in 1990, that killed 87 people. Many who call this building home are immigrants from the Gambia in West Africa. Africa. Governor Kathy Hochul met with some of the survivors. We're scores of family who are in such grief, who are in pain, to see it in a mother's eyes as I held her, who lost her entire family. Mm, Jesus. It's hard to fathom what they're going through. Just an inconceivable loss of life, and we're also told that at least 13 people suffered critical injuries in this fire, which means that this death toll conceivably could climb even higher. Kayla. All right, Robert, thank you so much.